Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for a very interesting program for this year's NEA Big Read, When Gnomes Need to Clean Their Homes. We have an exciting program with some very wonderful gnomes tonight and their creator as well. My name is Jewel Ratzlaff. I'm the Big Read Coordinator. All of, the, all of you on Zoom, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to ask you to please keep your uh, microphones muted. And if you do have questions, please put your question into the chat box and um, our artists will take questions at the end of the presentation. And I should also say that we are recording this evening's program. So if you have a friend that you want to, you know, show them what, what you um, experienced this evening, it will be up on the Poughkeepsie Public Library's website, YouTube channel, probably in, you know, beginning of next week. Those recordings are all available on the um, website. So tonight we have artist Maxine Liu with us. She is an emerging artist, an art educator, and environmentalist from Taiwan. She received her Master of Fine Arts in Sculpture at the State University of New York at New Paltz. She has worked in sculpture, printmaking, and art education for several years. Her work tends to focus on the environment, communication, and identity. She has been promoting several workshops about upcycling and recycling that have been inspired by concerns of global warming, waste production, and other environmental issues. In 2015, Maxine came to New York from Taiwan and began to show an interest in the cultural differences between Western and Eastern cultures. In 2016, she collaborated with the New Paltz Reuse Center to build a giant dung beetle from repurposed materials. And she is the creator of these lovely gnomes that have been hanging out at the library for the last three weeks. And I do hope you can come and visit the Poughkeepsie Public Library. We have uh, two of them at Boardman Road and 19 of them here at Adrian's. So, Without further ado, let's welcome Maxine Liu. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to show out. <laughs> I think if we are ready and then we can share our screen. Share the screen. All right. <laughs> and, um, okay, so. Now, Maxine, you got to help me get this full screen here. <laughs> uh, start presentation. There we go, right? Yes. Okay. Mm. Yes? Yeah, and then I need uh, the, the mouse. <laughs> and oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> mm, let's see. So hello, I'm Maxine Liu, and uh, I just graduated uh, in this May. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, my environmental series of oh, <laughs> my environmental series of um, artwork, and uh, this work is called "When Gnomes Need to Clean Their Homes." And uh, in this presentation, uh, I am going also to talk about uh, my previous work. So um, you can gather the ideas how how uh, the nose projects uh, developed in this stage, and then my environmental series work is focused on uh, the cultural waste, consumerism, and uh, the garbage issue in the United States. And uh, so let's see. Ooh. <laughs> so. Uh, the, when gnomes need to clean their home, it's a uh, nomic installation that reminds people. Oh, good. <laughs> that reminds people of uh, environmental problem in a funny way. So you might not see the gnomes, uh, the garden gnomes, uh, regular uh, like helping us to cleaning our environment. <laughs> and uh, 
So uh, in these months, uh, we have the 20, 21 uh, in Procapsi and the 19 in this library. And uh, you might can find that around the library here. And uh, before I uh, before to uh, introduce the details of this project, I want to give you uh, some uh, background of uh, mine. So, uh, and you can get the, the, uh, the sense why uh, my inspiration come from. So some of you might know uh, I came from Taiwan and uh, the Taiwan, I wasn't sure if you can see in this map is like a last tiny dot uh, in the world, which is uh, around uh, China, uh, South Korea and uh, Japan, Vietnam, Philippines. That's a little tiny dot. And uh, so Taiwan is an, an island that's surrounding uh, the ocean. So because this reason, Taiwanese kind of like know uh, how to um, uh, live in together and uh, care about our uh, 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 environmental issue because the, the ocean was uh, pretty much a, a big thing of the, uh, the global warming. Mm. And, uh, so, and this island is actually from the top of soles to the bottom of uh, the top of nose to the bottom of soles is it's only uh, five hours of driving. So the whole geographic is actually uh, smaller than New York State, but we have uh, 23 million people. So it's like uh, uh, the, the population is actually greater than, than here. And then you can image that is pretty quiet. And then in this uh, in this map, uh, you can see the dark green part was um, uh, is a mountain. So all the 23 million people is actually uh, living in the outside of this island. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, so the crowded place, we need to learn how to uh, uh, live in share with uh, others, including the natures and uh, our um, including nature of our neighborhood, not just, just the, the, the human. And uh, because these, so uh, uh, Taiwanese got a very strict uh, recycling system, uh, they were taught in our very young age. So that is a little bit of my background. So in 2015, I came to uh, New York and uh, I got very uh, exciting because um, uh, a lot of things for me is actually the culture shock. Mm -hmm. And the culture shock is actually uh, one of my biggest uh, uh, interpretation for pretty much all of my work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for example, um, in Taiwan, even in the winter, we have uh, 82 degrees. So in the first, mm. uh, so when I came here, it was my first time to see snow. Mm. And uh, I remember I uh, told my landlord, say, please, 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 please let me uh, shuffle the snow. And then my, <laughs> and then guess what my landlord said? <laughs> she said, oh, of course, I let you do all the work. <laughs> and then, so so uh, in, in that, you can see like uh, for you guys, uh, that uh, like a uh, very simple things, but for me, it's like, uh, oh, very, very interesting. Mm. So the other culture shock, like uh, the huge burger, the huge clothes, the huge building are also a uh, part of my culture shock. And uh, of course, the recycling system and uh, how people to deal with uh, the garbage is also my part of my culture shock. Mm. The reason I say this, because um, uh, I noticed there are like uh, our uh, recycling bin are mixed in uh, the United States and uh, uh, they, they do have the uh, structure, uh, not structure, like, a, like a, the paper to tell, me, <laughs> to tell you like a, a something, uh, some, something can recycle and some cannot. But uh, compared to Taiwanese uh, recycling system, that was quite different. For example, in Taiwan, <laughs> we recycle uh, we recycle metal and uh, paper, plastic, glass, and uh, uh, also uh, compost. But uh, in the detail, uh, for example, the the uh, 
uh, medal, we have three categories, and the, those three categories, you are never get a uh, mix. So the category like uh, steel, copper, or aluminum, and uh, 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 talking about the plastic, we have uh, plastic in general, and the plastic bottle is the other, is the, is the other category. And the plastic bottle uh, in Taiwan, the cap and the, the bottle ring cannot be recycled. And the, all the recycling stuff, you must be clean, clean after you, you, you put in the recycling bin. Another category like a, like a glass. And the, here I talk about glass because you might surprise that in Taiwan, if you want recycling glass, you even need to separate the color. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and for the compost, we have uh, two categories. One is uh, especially for feeding pig. The other is uh, to uh, plan the, uh, for the planting. And the lay cannot uh, be, be mixed out as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, I want to show you one, uh, one video. Let's see, how can we... Yes. Do you remember how we did this? Uh, I don't remember. We need the exit. Ah, there you okay. go. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So let's see here. Here is a, a, a video of how uh, uh, Taiwanese to, to dump the, the, the garbage. <laughs> The, the music, that music is uh, the garbage truck music. So when you hear that music, you know it's time for the garbage. Oh. So let me stop here. And uh, so uh, the garbage cart will uh, come to your neighborhood uh, twice in a week. And uh, not like a uh, uh, you waiting then. And uh, you can see here, like a uh, several people they carry the similar bag, and uh, this uh, garbage bag was uh, the uh, Taiwanese government garbage bag. And uh, the reason we use those are have two. The first one uh, was um, so the government garbage bag we decide in the certain size. So that is because we want to reduce uh, the amount of uh, everyone create the garbage. <laughs> and then the second reason was um, some of garbage, uh, uh, the garbage bag for the compost, uh, we use the corn, so which the garbage bag will be composed uh, the directly after you, you dump. And then let's back a little bit, see here. So the recycling truck uh, is not can to uh, like twice a, a week. It's only can uh, on Thursday, and uh, so and then you can see in this video they have one person uh, one water stand here. So which like uh, you need hand directly your recycling stuff to him, and uh, he will check if your recycling got properly wow. or not. And uh, he will tell you, uh, sorry, miss, this cannot be recycled. Or mm -hmm. uh, maybe you, 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 uh, those are need clean more. So let's mm -hmm. back to our... Uh, <laughs> oh, can you help me uh, click uh, X test? I think it is... Uh, do, do, do. Escape? Oh, ah, 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 we've helped people customize and save it. Living here, trying to do some beach reading. <laughs> uh, hold on. Gatorade Zero. Zero. <laughs> Gatorade Zero. All the electrolytes. Oh. Zero sugar. <laughs> A little technical problem.
because of those and uh, for me um Joe, do you know how to get a uh, blood this part out <laughs> <laughs> You want to get rid of this, yeah, this yeah. piece right here? <laughs> yeah. I think uh, um, yes. here, uh, hide video or hide floating. Ah, okay, thanks so much. So uh, Taiwanese, oh, we still have one part. Nope. Yeah, oh, it's here. <laughs> Good. Uh, so Taiwanese have a 56 uh, recycling rate, but like uh, that is pretty good. But if you look back to the uh, to see the whole world, we actually only uh, nine percent of the recycling rate. So that is actually very sad that for for me to look at uh, the the because for me like uh, all human is living together, we are not separate. So, uh, but we must be like uh, working together. Otherwise, uh, no one will uh, like uh, the global warming is for for everyone, not only for like a certain part. And uh, for so for this work, this works the title's name or it's called a uh, target. That is a, a um, like a representation of my that I saw I feel uh, the weak uh, recycling environmental um, uh, awareness is kind of like a, a very strong uh, power to heating our environment. So even the recycling system. So I in this work I emphasize like two the layer size, the catapult as a, the, the very ancient way, the power and the, to heating the recycling system. And of course, we know recycling system is not the perfect uh, uh, solution for our um, our world. And but like a recycling is including like uh, you, you uh, reuse or repair or like uh, um, uh, what else? Like, uh, um, yes, recycling too. So uh, I think we all can find some way to to help. And uh, so uh, the first work before the gnomes that piece, I made um, a giant suit out with three hundred uh, supermarket bag, and uh, that collects from my uh, housemate that uh, I, I noticed uh, before the Aussie County banned the bag and uh, every time we went to grocery shopping and then we all can get uh, like uh, so many like a uh, uh, plastic bag and each of plastic bag have the, the sentence like recycling me but actually you can find the bag in the uh, garbage bin is more than the, mm -hmm. the bag in the recycling uh, bin. That is just uh, really sad. And uh, so um, this work, uh, her, the name is called Plady, Plastic Lady, Plady is a mm -hmm. combination words. And uh, for this piece, um, it's a wearable uh, sc uh, sculpture. So we wear this and then we do the litter, uh, cleaning litter uh, <laughs> uh, performance. And then the documentation is available on YouTube right now. It's called uh, Earth Day Action Two Hours Collection. So uh, from this, um, this uh, performance, I, I start to learn and the curious about the litter on the street. And uh, when I say I, I learned, it, mean, it means I really get, like, uh, let's try to find uh, the history of uh, from those um, uh, 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 litter. So the, I, uh, maybe some of you know uh, or to, to heard about uh, this word, it's called plugging in, in here. E L G G I N G, and it's a it's also the combination words and um, like uh, picking up garbage and the jogging like com combination. And uh, this word create uh, in Sweden. And uh, uh, before they uh, and uh, uh, right now they they uh, use this word as kind of like uh, the exercise for for the all all system. So and uh, later on. Um, they these words kind of like spray to the world that's become the, the, the movement. So I when, when I do uh, the, the plugging, I I just uh, uh, study to think about 
Mm, how why those come from? And the 90% 90, 90 of the collection we found on the street, basically they related to our food surface. So such as uh, the cup, the can, the straw, the utensil, all, all those things are, or even the uh, package, bag, uh, like a little piece of the, the package bag. And uh, that just surprised me. And uh, of course, uh, you might know, uh, you might not also notice in this year because mm -hmm. of COVID-19. So the, a lot of um, uh, uh, production, um, production stuff on the on the street become the litter as well. And uh, for me, I it's a culture shock, yes. <laughs> but also I want to do something to to re, to to change this. And uh, so I start uh, so because of litter um, issues. So first things I was curious, the question mark was like uh, something the, the, the question from Maxine's head. So uh, my question was, um, so in, uh, in this country, I noticed uh, a lot of uh, American has a uh, huge property. You guys have the uh, in front yard, the backyard, and the even uh, the property, can, you can do um, something kind of like a, a garden, a vegetable garden on your own. And then we also, just in my uh, experience, I, I noticed uh, American plant uh, in, some, uh, in spring, mold in summer, and the uh, rake the fall leaves in autumn and the uh, shuffle the, the snow in the winter. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes we even have some some people if we even have uh, the uh, garden sculpture in our garden. And uh, then why we didn't treat uh, these uh, like a, a, why we didn't treat the public area as our our uh, private uh, space. Like uh, for mm -hmm. me, it's it's like uh, uh, you living in a dormitory or in a room and you have the, 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 the housemate and even you only just want to keep your own desk clean but at least you won't like put your garbage in the division <laughs> lines between you and your roommate, right? Mm -hmm. And even sometimes uh, they maybe they have the accident, they have the mess in 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 uh, in, in the house, uh, the general I, uh, uh, area, and then you might just like a help cleaning up, right? So for me, it's like a, the same thing to the the whole society is like a, like a, our our house, the mm. shared house. Mm. And the last is come from a Taiwanese perspective. And uh, so that is uh, the beginning of the, the question. And uh, in doing my study, I went to uh, several uh, recycling centers. And the, 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 the second set was, um, so uh, when we saw, oh, they have the green space, we kind of like uh, uh, feel, feel nice, right? But look at the, like a low tube that stick out. And uh, that means this place is actually the land field. It's not yeah. for, for like a green, it's like a people burying garbage under the green. So for me, it's um, like a, uh, the in, very insulting uh, illusion because if you hiding the garbage, they still there. The, the majority problem didn't change. So recycle, talk, uh, we, we talk about recycling is not a perfect solution. It's one solution, but not perfect. And I think the best way it's, it's like a um, stop from uh, how much we use. So I was thinking, mm, how can I make a project that to, to let people uh, notice about this issue because uh, from the foreign uh, perspective, I just feel, wow, why, why uh, we have so many uh, nature in here and so a lot of space, but we didn't treat that well. And um, so I start, the first things I look at is the sign. And uh, look at this sign. Do you notice any problem with this? I mean, it's, pretty good shape, right? The square, the rectangle, it's good shape. And uh, let's see, 
they got the capital letters. The capital letters say no skateboarding allowed. And even if you are not an uh, English speaker, you might uh, also recognize the picture. The picture I, I, I will call is a uh, universal symbols, which means mm, uh, even you don't know the words, you still can recognize. Uh, it's a human standing on, on a, a, a thing's half wheel and the, the red part is dead, dead. You can you can do that in this property. But when I took this shot and the, um, after I took this shot and I turn around and I noticed they have at least three skateboarder <laughs> next to the sign. So I was thinking, mm, what's wrong with the, the sign? Um, they, they are like, they have the perfect description, right? So what's wrong is like uh, because they didn't include in the find or because the uh, police didn't uh, stand next to the sign. <laughs> and uh, later I started to look at the, the, the all, uh, a lot of sign and uh, I think I find the answer. So he, this one is the sign in my uh, friend's garden. Mm -hmm. So my friends have a, a huge property. Uh, her garden is like a, a, a forest, not only like a, like a few vegetables there. So I find the answer, why I say the answer. So firstly, uh, look why the, the two signs different. So the first sign, it's like a warning you to and, and tell you to something you should do, something you shouldn't do. It's kind of like a force you to do, to do something you don't want or you, you didn't even realize. It's like a comment and a force. And uh, the second sign is like a, a funny, and uh, the starting point is from the uh, the viewer, not like a, like a, the third person. So it, it's it's different. Like uh, you will feel a little emphasis and a, a little connection that you think a person to decide decide this sign is actually thinking about you, not like a don't touch, don't come, don't da da da. So it's a little different. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, hmm, how can I uh, find the elements uh, like that is uh, funny, friendly, and uh, connect with people? So that's why I noticed the gnomes. <laughs> and uh, uh, look closely about those gnomes. Um, the garden gnomes, uh, they actually they are the character in the legion. So in the Legion, they have very mysterious um, uh, version that uh, some people think, oh, they are the guard for the gold. And some people say uh, they are the handyman. They can, they can make a lot of stuff and, and uh, maybe like a, a, a future uh, toy, a future tool or the equipment. And uh, some people even say those people have magic. So I was thinking, mm, this, uh, uh, and the later on, around uh, 17 to um, 1840s, around that years, people began to make the known figure into wood and the ceramics as a popular home decoration. So in that uh, time, the term garden known was wired used as a proper noun in that period. And in, in the Europe, 18, uh, 1840. 1840. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, later, so uh, let's begin on in, in Europe. Then I noticed the other funny fact that uh, when the those uh, known immigrants to the United States, they <laughs> kind of like uh, adopt our culture very uh, perfectly, right? <laughs> they just like uh, totally represent uh, our 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 life in here. We got the uh, hippies, which also mm, some uh, fun life. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I noticed um, in the U.S., uh, people treat uh, those garden sculpture as a little. I would describe like a kitsch kitsch culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's like a, oh, uh, a lot foundry made and the people buy them and put in their garden. So I was thinking mm, that is perfect description for the um, like a universal symbol. So I start to make my first um, uh, known out with the clay. 
the first edition was pretty realistic and uh, traditional, known looking. And uh, I uh, made them look like very sad in purpose because they need to clean our garbage. <laughs> and uh, the first preview uh, image is quite a little creepy. I would not describe it <laughs> in that way because like uh, oh, uh, they kind of like a copy and uh, all, all, the, all the nouns look like very sad. And I, I changed to the second version to a little happy version, a little cartoon style. And then the reason that was um, because I feel I want to make this project not a decoration or the sign. I want like uh, encourage people to change some behavior or rethink something issue. So uh, the norm has to be uh, some uh, different and the, that, and the the differences is like a, you can feel the known maybe it's your name if it's someone you look in the, your life or it's like a, uh, they really talk to me the first version is kind of like a, oh you only told people uh, the sad story that oh like a complaint but uh, we didn't work together so I start to make this version after I decide the first thing is I look at, uh, uh, I do a little dumpster diving in our um, school because um, uh, I, this project is about the, the garbage. So I, I try to do a challenge that I won't spend any money on, on any materials this time. Mm -hmm. So I try to do, um, uh, and, and I and see what I find. I find some installation foam that uh, left over from other people's project. So I use those insulation foam to try to make uh, the structure of this gnome. Here is a picture of uh, in my previous studio in uh, SUNY Newport sculpture program. And, uh, I, and the, uh, for the owl, uh, owl shape, I use, uh, uh, that was the first image was a newspaper uh, make a strip. And I use those uh, to make the paper pulp. So for the sculpting, not buying the like a the, like a very fancy sculptor clay to make this. And uh, for their tools, I use the scrap for scrap of wood to make uh, the left. And uh, some of a uh, detail uh, that I, I I don't have enough collections. I use like a other found object. Uh, to make a uh, loaf, and uh, here is our first um, mm -hmm. uh, first top three of gnomes, mm -hmm. and later on they got friends, a lot, a lot of friends. So mm -hmm. paper pulp, uh, paper pulp uh, combined with glue, uh, it's need uh, around at least three days of drying, and uh, uh, later la later they dry. They are pretty hard. Here is uh, the uh, <laughs> land in my uh, studio while doing the COVID-19 uh, COVID because that time we don't have access in school anymore. So and uh, later I color them. Ta -da! Mm. So they are ready and uh, each of them about um, 18, 18 tall. Uh, 18 inch tall and uh, 10 inch wide, uh, 9 to 10 uh, inch uh, deep. Uh, and uh, each of them have some uh, different poetry and uh, personality that I uh, pick out the, the things from uh, people I know. Uh, so for example, uh, Jave, um, he got uh, two uh, picking stick. Mm -hmm. And uh, because uh, that uh, that he can pick the 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 uh, the stuck uh, the garbage that stuck into in the bushes, mm -hmm. and uh, here the keys keys was um keys was a handyman in our group, and uh, he focused on the repair things. So if they have like a some uh bro if we have broken things. And uh, he he won't just throw out. He will try to repair. And uh, he actually worked in repair cafe. Mm -hmm. And we got uh, the um, Kingston. 
does anyone think he should rename to Poughkeepsie? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I will I will make the other one called Poughkeepsie. <laughs> so uh, so Kingston, he is an uh, active. So uh, and uh, in doing our action, uh, collecting action, uh, cleaning street action, he's always, uh, always kind of like a leader, like, hey, hey, everyone, come, I find mm -hmm. something to pick. <laughs> and um, uh, later, we, in our group, we have few female gnomes. Uh, her name is Emma. Emma is the person who is always working hard, and uh, she uh, is also always helping us to do recycle. So, uh, when we pick out uh, the three liter and then she will, oh, this one can recycle, this one cannot. So she is uh, the, the key part to helping us uh, to separate the, the stuff we pick. And we have Maxine Nong. <laughs> so, uh, the, the gnomes you see in the, uh, in the first uh, presentation. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the Maxine Nong and the Maxine has all the tool. So this uh, picture was uh, Maxine, uh, Maxine Nong, and Maxine Tool, and the Maxine uh, <laughs> hat. Well, uh, the, the tiny Maxine doesn't have a mask in COVID-19. That's uh, it's not a, 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 a good idea. Uh, uh, uh oh, she doesn't have her glasses on. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> that time. Um, and then also, so we start to collecting, um, uh, cleaning the street. Uh, here is sometimes I wear uh, my known outfit, sometimes not. And uh, then we start to clean from our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, this person in the center, uh, his name is called George. Uh, he's a person, uh, he's educator. So uh, I definitely sure you guys have a similar uh, people in your life that he is, uh, that, that the person Every time he finds something that he can talk about the story or, or the history, <laughs> and uh, he's yeah, it's George, and uh, we got uh, the Warren here. So Warren is actually the first uh, known I made in this uh, project. So Warren, uh, he he really really uh, care about the element. So and the, the things he start this group because uh, he want, uh, he he doesn't want the squirrel or tiny element got choked mm. by the the litter, and uh, we sometimes we this time we help people clean uh, the property, and uh, we kind of like uh, uh, our bag can fall around one to two hours every uh, action we did, and uh, we also focus on the garbage that's under. The, the under the tree and uh, uh, also this picture he says Kevin he he is uh, he has like a really good speed so he can pick out the garbage very quick and mm -hmm. uh, we also got uh, the brothers mm -hmm. so they are twins and uh, Jerry and Perry mm -hmm. and uh, they are actually uh, shorter than other other gnomes and uh, that's also late then can find the garbage hiding in like a very difficult corner uh, in our action. And uh, this picture was taken um, in uh, after the Spoken. And uh, in that time, we uh, we just thinking about why the parents always uh, uh, remember to join uh, their kids uh, event, but uh, a lot of time when they laughed, they forgot to take their garbage back. It's kind of like a little sad thing. <laughs> and um, then here is uh, how Jeff um, tried to pick out the, the, the garbage um, in under the, the bushes, mm -hmm. and uh, we got uh, Aaron. So Aaron, he doesn't speak very uh, a lot, but I know he was a ninja, <laughs> and uh, he looks like uh, he drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> His face was um, pretty red, <laughs> and uh, here is our oldest uh, gnomes in our group. His name is called Thomas, and the Thomas, um, he focused on the reuse. 
So a lot of time uh, he find the, the things that he think, oh, maybe I can use this, he will take back. So this picture was um, he find a gloves that uh, he, he think, oh, maybe that can uh, become my daughter's hat. So <laughs> he mm -hmm. take back mm -hmm. and um, sometimes we try to rescue uh, the, the drunk cup in the in, in the river as well and the reason we do that uh, we focus on on the river because even you know uh the litter was on the street but every time when the rain came and the the, the litter actually goes through the sewer and at the oceans mm -hmm. and so once if they end in the oceans it's hard to take back mm -hmm. it's super super difficult process so the best way is um, take them before they they they, they gone. And uh, uh, in this project, uh, this project start in this May. And uh, so far, uh, some of my 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 housemate and my friends starting to join our plugging to picking uh, garbage while while uh, jogging. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I feel that is something art can 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 change, and I am really glad. And uh, so for this project, you might not also notice um, the the, uh, the the topic. The topic is when gnomes need to clean their home, and then I use gnome and the home those two words because uh, firstly they they sounds a little like a similar uh, the the second things is uh, refers a, a comment remember i say when i look at the sign and it's like oh teacher told him how to do but uh, if you refers to asking if even the gnomes need to clean their home and uh, what's the home look like so it's like uh, let people think a little softly and uh, also, I think a humor is always the, the good way to open a very difficult topic. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for this project in future, I want to uh, create uh, something kind of like uh, the journal and uh, for our collection. So and uh, that is also one way is that uh, people uh, realize something uh, issue that hiding oh like uh, we just always ignore it maybe and um, uh, I feel um, so again um, for me I use low stone as my uh, thought and my voice to let people know that um, I feel uh, the whole society is our home not only your address home is your home and uh, i think that is pretty much about this project e let's do the question and answer time and uh, by the way this person is called frank and uh, he is a blind person so even he blind but he still uh, try to find mm -hmm. something to clean mm -hmm. so uh lead me back to Okay. Does everybody have questions? Uh -huh. Hey. So do you take all of the gnomes with you when you do these different projects, or are you just doing that to set up for harvest fruit? Mm. Uh, it depends. Sometimes okay. um, I leave the, the gnomes there around like a one afternoon. Okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, I remember one time my. Um, my uh, uh, neighbors was, was was joking, say, hey, did you got a no uh, stone attack? Or oh, did, did they tell you to do this? And uh, I say, oh, no, we just volunteer. And people start to thinking about, mm, uh, why? Oh, uh, uh, thanks. It's mm -hmm. like a, you can see from the, uh, the change from their um, uh, a reaction from like a ha ah, it's funny uh, to turn to oh uh, actually they have like a some important meaning behind mm. the piece mm. thanks for the question um someone on zoom asks are you going to make more gnomes 
this question. Um, yeah. So far, I think I wasn't sure yet. I wasn't sure yet. Um, let's see. What's the next dumpster diving I will go? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> Did you have to live with these gnomes at your place? <laughs> well, sadly, no. I had to move out because of COVID. Oh, okay. I, I would have had fun living with the gnomes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, so do you think that in Taiwan they do a better job of, of recycling than we do? Yeah, um, so sadly, sadly it's yes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, I think uh, uh, because I think the reason is because we start uh, in young age. So and also uh, from the video, you can see like uh, people, uh, everyone see. Oh, you you uh, like uh, everyone see each other garbage. Mm. So if like uh, someone uh, have like a, a very harmful uh, garbage, for example like a motor oil or like a, like a battery. Those are never ever uh, can go to the regular uh, dumpster. And uh, also some of uh, charge worker are a little mean. So they, if they have like a, a, a not recycling properly, they will yelling you like, did you graduate elementary school? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, it's a little bad. And, and uh, uh, like people lining behind you will giving you a, a little face like. <sighs> <laughs> so it's like a, like a people, you're kind of like a judging by people also. And uh, yeah, I think it's maybe not good education, but also create the okay solution. Um, mm. I know uh, they have one country, I think it's Sweden, and I think they, their uh, recycling rate is pretty much uh, 99%. Mm. So I think, and, and also I know it's not all the United States uh, do, uh, they do a little different recycling uh, system. So, for example, the California, they have, they really, uh, they really work the recycling, um, and uh, I think their rate is uh, fifty five. So it's like a very, very close uh, with Taiwan. Um, let's see. But in New York, sad news is. Um, uh, so, for example, if you have a, a product and uh, you look down the the button, they have the recycling mark, right? But actually, uh, people uh, not like a, like a, we didn't told enough to people. Actually, only what the number one, two, and five can be recycled, and the other product, even you put in the bin, is not going to be recycled. It's a little sad. But I, uh, when I try to uh, um, talk to uh, at least my my um, uh, classmate, and I realize, oh, a lot of them didn't know that. So that's why I think uh, the education is, is uh, the big things. Uh, that cause uh, two places are different. And, uh, and also I think um, we, uh, you don't necessarily to join our collection, but like uh, any of us, uh, you guys, um, you have uh, your profession in your own field. So you, maybe you can help educate in, for the young generation, or you can um, do the physical action. Uh, action. So it's also uh, like a many different things we can work together in um, in this topic. Very inspiring. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anybody else have questions? Got yes, please. Um, so you showed the the blue garbage bag. On mm -hmm. the video that you said were um, they're from the government. Yes. So people just use two of those a week. Oh, oh. So. Um, so uh, repeat the question for Zoom people. Oh, okay, okay. So we got the the, the question from the audience that uh, she uh, asking about the Taiwanese uh, government recycling bag, and uh, she asked uh, if the uh, the recycling car only can twice in a week. And uh, is anyone only get two bags in the week? 
The answer is, is no, because um, uh, uh, the government garbage bag is not like a mandatory, like they force you to buy. And so some, someone uh, reuse their, their um, uh, plastic bag as the uh, garbage bag, and that's okay. But we have the certain amount um, uh, uh, the, the garbage uh, uh, bag, so uh, like the size. So uh, if you have like a giant, <laughs> if you, uh, you you have like a giant garbage all the time, and the government actually will charge you uh, the more fee feed mm. for the process. So and and that is, is for like a, oh we you redid re create like a a, 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 a lot more. Hmm. Yes, please. Um, I'm trying to imagine using making that little garbage in a week. It's just like making two shopping bags full of garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, but like, is, is there a difference in maybe packaging or something in Taiwan so that there is less garbage? Do you maybe recycle? I mean, you do recycle more. But yeah, I just, I imagine a trip to the grocery store mm -hmm. in the United States. And I think, you know, some people, you know, bag, buy, let's say, 10 bags of groceries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's gonna just that's gonna create a lot of garbage. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the question is about packaging. Is well, there is the packaging different? Does that cause or does that make a difference in, mm, in Taiwan? Hmm, that's an interesting question. So uh, for for the gar uh, for for putting the garbage in Taiwan, we try to squeeze <laughs> squeeze uh, in like a and, and the uh, for example um. Uh, recycling stuff. We, uh, if you have the milk box, and uh, after you clean up, you need a, a folding in like a <laughs> like a loose. And then for the paper, you need like a pile, then and the tie together become a bundle, not just pa. <laughs> mm. So your recycling uh, pile is always like a very uh, look very clean. And uh, for the garbage, um, we won't. We, we will try to squeeze a little amount, and that is one of the reason for the build the garbage bag. And the, the second reason was um, if you just put uh, in the general bin, and uh, when the car is back to the, the the dumpster, and how if the wind come, and <laughs> the garbage will fill. So it's just trying to um, late then. Um, like a, a stay in one place, and uh, if you add, uh, unfortunately have like a a little large than others, and I do see some uh, some Taiwanese try to put some garbage for the next week, <laughs> so and uh, so they still trying, and uh, I yeah, maybe someone will try to put in others, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, like a compare here, uh, we our package, back to the package, our package for the food, definitely a little smaller. And uh, as you know, uh, Asian people are a little tiny. <laughs> so maybe uh, the, the use are, are different too. Um, right. Someone in on, on Zoom said, "Yay, Maxine!" So it's not a question, but a cheer. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you for the Zoom question. <laughs> Anybody else have questions? No, but they're very creative and adorable. <laughs> they are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. So and thank I, you for having me here. I I wonder where the gnomes are going next. Mm hmm. So I, uh, for the future project, I want to um, um, continue to bring those known um, to helping our environment. And uh, also um, I, uh, I hosting the recycling, um, like a craft um, a workshop. And uh, so in my future workshop, I want uh, including some of our documentation or, or some of um, the process, how we use uh, reuse uh, product to make um, 
the, the other things uh, more longer life. And uh, the documentation, I want um, uh, like uh, start to uh, publish online first because online you won't waste the paper mm -hmm. and then you also, uh, mm -hmm. it's good um, to uh, spray out even the word. And I feel, um, have you guys heard about the traveling gnome? It's a, it's like a fun joke around like a, like a 60 here, like this people stolen the gnomes and, uh, and, uh, to travel and oh, take the oh, selfie yeah. Yeah. and, and, uh, and then make the postcard, not postcard, like a send a picture back to the owner mm -hmm. that, Hey, your gnome is traveling. Yeah. So I feel like, uh, as me, like an international person while I travel, if I look at like a sun, sun place and I can have the, the documentation going on and the later uh, people know uh, this letter definitely in the all the world, not just here. It's, uh, the, here is just uh, the, the place I start mm. for the action. But, but as I say, the ocean is connect all of us. So even like uh, here is mass, but the ocean might take the, our liter to other, uh, other place. Mm. And uh, the suddenly things was, for example, in Taiwan, we have the, the action called uh, cleaning beach. So uh, the owner, they, uh, they, they, they hosting the play, uh, the, the event and the, the fire tier can, and then we help clean the garbage. And the same things was uh, in the garbage. Why we clean the, the, the garbage in the ocean? Um, uh, because if the garbage come from the ocean, the government won't pay for 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 taking the for for like a deal with those garbage because they are not in our nation. Oh, and then, oh, yeah. and then sometimes we a, a lot of time we find. Uh, the garbage from other country around Taiwan. That is just because the the ocean, mm. and uh, so that's only the volunteer can do. And the the sad thing is actually we find the garbage from the ocean. That amount is more than the garbage we create in our nation. Really? So so it's like a like a really a, a, a mm. things. That you you never image. Oh, I love uh, I love the sea turtle and the and I didn't ne never go to there. Why I killed them? But <sighs> they have like a something. So they have one interesting things for um, response ability. So if you see these words and then you cut the words, one is response, the other is ability. And um, I feel these words, it's not a job that's put on you or or like a, it's it's not a like a anyone oh i i didn't made the mess why i need to clean it's like a, did you have that ability to help yes and do you have the uh, and the, what's your response yes so that's is a, a things um i learned from uh, a famous um uh person i i think in the tea talk uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I heard the laws, and I just keeping. Uh, I love that things. responsibility. That's mm -hmm. Great. This on, on my mind. Mm. Okay. Any other questions or comments? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I'm, I would like to thank Maxine, and also I would like to encourage everyone again. Please come to the library and look. They're all over on every floor at Adrian's and there are two over at Boardman. So come and explore the library and enjoy Maxine's wonderful gnomes. <laughs> Thank you.